Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Cultural Footprint Facebook Live. Today, uh, I'm Monica with BDF, and we have one of our incubatees, uh, Jos. Hello. <laughs> so, Jos, yeah. uh, you are an owner of a startup called Faktuche. Yes. Can you yes. tell me more about yourself and your company? Yeah, um, yeah. So my name is uh, my name is Jos. Um, I'm 28 years old. I live here in uh, Leeuwarden, and I'm uh, uh, I'm a member of the incubator, which means I uh, I work uh, on my own startup, being Fortuja. Uh, I've been um, uh, I've been doing this for a little over a year now, and. Um, yeah, so Fructuritia uh, is um, is a way for starting entrepreneurs to help them create invoices as easy and quickly as possible. Yes, yeah. great. And I know you are also an artist. Could you tell me more about oh, that? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, so um, for me... Um, It's been a bit of a, a journey that kind of led me all the way here. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the first uh, studies I did was a technical one, um, which um, electronical engineering, that was my first uh, studies. Um, I wasn't really, um, really happy with that. Uh, the material was very, um, uh, very interesting, but it's not, wasn't something that I wanted to go through with. So after that, I um, I decided to do a um, an arts uh, study. So I was always very busy with music, uh, playing guitar, singing, and uh, eventually producing music, uh, which I developed in time over um, um, at school. So yeah, I did that for um, for a long while, and. Um, Eventually, I started my own business and uh, started to have a have an interest in programming. So, the um, so I started uh, just like playing music, and then I started um, programming music and uh, producing music on the computer, mm -hmm. and then just curiosity on how everything worked okay. uh, led me to programming, and that led me to this. Oh, so your work with um, making music inspired you to start Factor Chip. You could say that? Yeah, it inspired me to start uh, programming and um, uh, my, uh, my starting a business as a web developer mm -hmm. um, eventually inspired me to create Factor Chip with those programming skills. So, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I know a lot of young artists tend to, you know, sometimes lose motivation, perhaps, you know, in the middle of starting their business because um, they don't see you know, either profit or feedback from clients or whatever. Yeah. So how do you yourself stay motivated and passionate about your work? So I'm also very much, it's not like uh, I've been doing this for, for 20 years. And I've uh, I've built an empire, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm very much uh, very much at the start of this myself. Um, but one of the um, one of the things that I try to work on in order to not get demotivated and quit, because there have been times where I've been uh, uh, where I thought, well, this this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> um, so. Um, what I try to do is uh, make plans. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's 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 a hard thing to get specific about what you want, mm -hmm. and um, it's very it's a it's a comfort place for most people, and including myself, to kind of keep everything vague. I want to start a company, and I want to do this and that, um, and that sounds very nice. Um, but to get specific and what specifically is it that I want and uh, what trade-offs do I have to make in order to make, uh, to make it happen, uh, that's a little less fun, but it's, it's necessary. Okay. Um, so that and patience. <laughs> I'm a very impatient person. 
So, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's two good points that yeah. not yeah. only artists should, you know, keep in mind, but every entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, instant gratification is not something that is readily available in an right. entrepreneurial journey. No, li life isn't a movie. So exactly. uh, I think the whole idea that um, starting a business and uh, um, a lot of that is inspired you know, by movies and series mm -hmm. that, that, that we watch. And um, I think subconsciously we tend to conflate uh, reality with fiction in that sense, mm -hmm. in the same way that our entire idea of like romance is completely based on movies. Yeah. Um, so um, it's not to say that, that it's uh, an apples to apples comparison, but we are as people susceptible to these ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's. Uh... <laughs> so, is there any recent successes in, you know, your company that you are very proud of that you would like to share? Thing that I'm very proud of. Yeah. Is this the point where my nervous breakdown starts? <laughs> <laughs> Could be no, something uh... small. I think <laughs> yeah, it's very important to, you know, be proud of the small things, small winnings in your journey. Yeah. 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 So. Um, for me, um, being um, a developer, my uh, comfort place is behind my computer mm -hmm. uh, and uh, working alone and um, building a business um, is, um, so you have uh, the thing that you're good at, say you start a business as a photographer, then you're good at photography and then starting a business in photography to take on a second job. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, which is building the business, which is something that you're not very good at um, at first. So it's 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 a it's a it's a different skill that you have to learn, and um, so that skill of building a business is a very social one, and so that that's where my challenges kind of start because uh, um, I'm technically capable of building. Um, really amazing things mm -hmm. yeah so I, I'm, I'm very proud of that and I'm very happy with that but in order to do things with those things that I build um, you know you, you don't want them you don't want those projects just to be folders on your on your computer yeah of course. Um, so something that I'm very proud of is that I have gone out to uh, an organization that is a community for um, for young startups mm -hmm. uh, in uh, the, the northern part of the Netherlands, mm -hmm. and uh, I've um, uh, I've talked with them, and we have um, um, uh, we've created a collaboration where they can use their their network of uh, uh, of a lot of uh, a lot of young entrepreneurs to plug uh, factuurtje to mm -hmm. them. And to see if uh, Facturity is useful to them, so that's uh, that's a big kickstart for my company and uh, a big victory for me just to to do the whole social part and uh, get get away from behind my computer. Nice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think it's yeah, it's very important that you know the challenges you face in your journey could be an achievement as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I think you should, you should, um, you shouldn't see those achievements as purely monetary. Mm -hmm. So, um, in order to, um, in order to get somewhere, you have to be willing to get uncomfortable. If you want to grow, you gotta get uncomfortable because yeah. if you stay in your comfort place, then you stay where you are. Mm -hmm. And um, so, depending on where those uncomfortable spots are for you, uh, I myself, uh, for, for me, it's really the social thing. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, for other people, it might be very different things. But um, those uh, specific uh, points that make it that make it difficult for you. Those those hurdles you have to overcome. That's that's where you want to you know look for the victories. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, another great uh, quote. <laughs> so um, our target group for Cultural Footprint is uh, young artists. Yes. Is there any advice uh, you could give to them as they, you know, they're looking when as they're looking to start their own career? Aside from, you know, seeking discomfort and uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um be patient. Mm -hmm. Uh patience is a good thing. I I um I have had a lot of times where my wanting to get somewhere very fast actually uh resulted in things taking a lot longer um and especially with social situations when you're impatient you can uh, tend to get a little pushy mm -hmm. and uh, that, that's not uh, that's not very good um yeah, i think um as people we have patterns and those patterns can either help us or um, stand in the way of the things that we want to do. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, my advice there would be keep a diary. I, I, I keep a diary mm -hmm. and um, I write in that just not religiously every single day. Um, but it, it helps me recognize my own patterns. Mm -hmm. So um, when I find that I'm writing the same thing for the seventh time, that, oh, I've been so stressed out today, this whole week has been a mess, and I've written that for this for the seventh time, then after a while I start to think, well, maybe I should restructure the way that I plan my weeks, because this is obviously not working for me. Yeah. And the only way to recognize that is you know, through repetition. Mm -hmm. uh, if I don't write that down, then it's just a part of how my life is, and I can't help it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think those two. Mm -hmm. Would you say, you know, joining a community of like-minded people also Oh, yeah, you? absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they should find, I don't know, a community of artists or oh, yeah. entrepreneurs. Yeah, yeah, I can't believe I didn't say that. No, <laughs> no just uh, um, becoming a part of the incubator here and meeting, uh, meeting like-minded people has been a very um, significant part of my progress. Mm -hmm. So uh, working at home is not... Um, just doesn't work for me. Um, in theory, I really want it to work for me because I'm very comfortable at home. But yeah. part of that is, uh, you know, is that getting uncomfortable is, impo is, is, is important. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, um, coming here um, initially is a little uncomfortable, and then um, uh, then then it's not anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I. I have good conversations with like-minded people who are also starting their own business. And um, yeah, it helps to get great advice, great insights. And um, for me personally, also separating um, my place of work and my place of relaxing mm -hmm. really helps me. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know, in my own journey, I think uh, I find it really difficult at the start to tell people I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, yeah. Because, I don't know, maybe you get judged a lot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as a young person, you still um, care about other people's opinions about you. Do you have any advice for that? Or did you encounter that? Oh, at yeah, all? a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, so um, you want to so what 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 I what I what I tend to do is um, I tend to tell people that are that will be um, supportive um, a little more than people who tend not to be supportive. Mm -hmm. I don't tell everyone the full story of where I am and where I plan to be going. Mm -hmm. Especially the last part, I don't tell to a lot of people unless I really think that, uh, you know, it's a good place to share, mm -hmm. um, you know, but I, I don't, I don't, um, uh, I don't tell my mom, like, my complete plan for two years, because you know, she has uh, uh, always worked in uh, loan deeds, um, like, uh, she always, she's always worked for, for an employer, mm -hmm. so having, uh, so being an entrepreneur is inherently unsafe, 
And so her reaction will almost always be, wow, oof, yeah, I don't know if you should do that. So I tend to not get into that discussion and just, uh, you know, things are going well. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> I'm having fun. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I think imposter syndrome at the start of your journey is very, very real. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Yeah. I have have had that for... Yeah, so for for me, that didn't start when I started my business. Mm -hmm. Um, So when I I started um, the... um, when I started at school with 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 music, um, I very quickly realized that everyone, including uh, the the teachers who also had like who played in bands, everyone was just doing something. Mm-hmm. Everybody was just uh, uh, following their uh, uh, their feelings, and uh, uh, no one actually knew what they were doing. So, yeah. <laughs> Just like anyone in life, <laughs> you have to you have to be able to play, yeah, and uh, yeah, to have fun, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, so um, let's talk about mentors. Do you have any mentors from um, the incubator or anyone else um, in your life that helped you through your journey? As it happens, yes, uh, yeah. So I have um, someone I met through uh, through a friend of a friend, and. Um, name is uh, Case, he would, uh, I would consider him a mentor mm-hmm. and um, not, um, well, not so much in, in uh, uh, the specific um, uh, entrepreneurial aspects, uh, but just how to, uh, to deal with all of the uncertainty and uh, uh, um, the risks, the um, the unhappy feelings that come with, uh, with being an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he very much um, helps me in just staying um, patient, keeping a level head. And, uh, you know, when you're working on something that you're very passionate about, you tend to get... Um, you, you tend to conflate the um, current position of the business um, because you're very focused on a single point. Mm -hmm. Say uh, your your goal is to go from your first uh, 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 50 users to to 100, and that's not working. You tend to uh, conflate that that specific point isn't working and therefore everything is not working uh, because it it feels that way. Mm -hmm. So it helps to have someone who helps me um, kind of take a step back and see that overall everything is going pretty well. Mm -hmm. So it's just one small thing that's not working and there's always going to be a small thing that's not working. Yeah. There's never going to be a place where everything's fixed. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So So you would call him somewhat of your mindset coach. Ish. Ish. Yeah. 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 That's fine. (laughs) Um, and I know in the start of my journey specifically, and I know a lot of my colleagues as well, um, being accountable to yourself, um, just doing the work every day is difficult. Mm -hmm. Do you have any experience with that? I know you love programming, but sometimes there are days where you're just, you know, this doesn't work and I just want (laughs) to close my laptop and just... Relax. Yeah, that happens when I stay home. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's so hap- get out that, of the house. That, that happens when I stay in my comfort place. Yeah. So when I um, flip that switch in the morning and go here, mm-hmm. um, so like like I said before, like as as people we have patterns, mm-hmm. and um, we have um, we associate patterns with places and people, um, so. At home, I have um, patterns of uh, laying on the couch and relaxing and uh, watching Netflix uh, or whatever. Um, and 
when I'm here, I have different patterns. So the the um, um, I won't uh, kick my feet up on the desk and uh, watch Netflix uh, uh, here mm -hmm. because I'm I'm just not used to that. Yeah. And uh, at home, sometimes I'm uh, you know halfway through a show, uh, and I kind of wake up and I'm like, oh wow, wow, I didn't even realize I was doing that. So um, so yeah. Just um, separating work from home. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I realize that even when I'm here, it's not working, then I need a day off. Mm. And uh, I tend to um, not, um, not take half measures with that. So if I need a day off, then that's it. I'm mm -hmm. not going to do anything that day, and I'm going to try again the next day. Mm -hmm. So just half working and half relaxing is never a good option for me. Mm -hmm. So would you say you're not a big fan of the, you know, grinding lifestyle that a lot of entrepreneurs are doing no. currently? <laughs> um, no. Um, so um, I have seen my, like the, as a personal point, like I've seen my partner um, uh, go, through a, go through a burnout mm -hmm. and um, I have been... You know, during the pandemic, uh, like mental health wise, things were not going well. So I really try to listen to my 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 um, to myself, to my my body. What what do I need? Mm -hmm. uh, is this just uh, am I just anxious or uh, uncomfortable in doing this, or do I need rest? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, if I need rest, I'll I'll take rest because. Um, if you don't do that, um, you'll burn up, and um, that's not good for a person. No. So the whole grinding uh, uh, grind set or whatever <laughs> that that's, that that just goes against that. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm I'm very much opposed to the to that mm -hmm. mindset. Uh, nevertheless, I, I am I am um, here. Um, when I am here, I'm, I'm, I'm here a lot, and I do spend more than 60 hours a week doing this. Um, but that's not out of some principle. Mm -hmm. That's because I really want to. Okay. Yeah. And have you ever gotten, you know, really bad feedback from someone, from a user, or... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did you... <laughs> um, handle it. Oh yeah, so that that's one of my um, uh, my strong points, where I'm, which I'm really, uh, really that, that I'm really happy with. Mm -hmm. uh, I take bad feedback very well. I do not. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's part of um, you know making making music and have people critique your music. So you learn to give feedback and also receive feedback. Mm -hmm. um, so when people tell me that um, the new feature I made is uh, shit and uh, is worthless and it doesn't help them, mm -hmm. um, then I'm uh, I'm just fascinated. Why? Mm -hmm. So tell me why why doesn't it work for you? And um, uh, um, yeah, I'm just curious about that. Yeah. Okay. So, so I, I don't think thing. I don't take things personal at all. Mm -hmm. I tend to. You try so, and turn it into a greater opportunity for the business. Understanding yeah. people's reasoning. Yeah. Yeah. So what what I what I tend to do is I um, um I do different things. Mm -hmm. Um, so building the startup is my main thing right now. Mm -hmm. But I look at these things as projects. This is a project that I'm doing. And this is not what I'm doing. So when someone critiques the project, they critique the project. They don't mm -hmm. critique me. Um, so that's a very different. That, that's a very important distinction to make. Mm -hmm. it makes it very easy just yeah. to keep that distance. I think that's a very good point. Yeah. <laughs> just you know, distance yourself from your work, just so you don't take things personally. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's good. Uh, uh, you know, you, you don't take things personally. You have a you have a um, a way to stay objective, mm -hmm. and also um, if the project succeeds, that's great. Mm -hmm. um, and if the project fails, then the project fails, but you don't fail. Mm -hmm. You just did a project that failed. Mm 
Yeah. And you, you can, take the learning points of that failed project to your you just start a next new one. one. Yeah. 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 We do that with music as well. Yeah. Yes, we do. I guess creating a song, creating an album, mm -hmm. uh, all those things are projects that you do. Yes, and yeah. those projects can fail. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Of course, you don't intend for them to fail. But yeah, you don't, you don't control that. Mm -hmm. um, you can control it to a certain extent. I mean, create a plan and see if it's feasible. But um, at the end, uh, you, you, you can't uh, be, be certain mm -hmm. of, a, of an outcome. Yeah. Until you actually get the feedback. That's part of the journey. Yeah. 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 Well, um, is there any questions from our viewers? <laughs> <laughs> Not from viewers, but I do. Okay. Because you were talking about the communities that you have now. I was wondering, is it difficult? Was it difficult for you to find like communities, the like-minded people, or no? Um, uh, so, so um, finding the people. Um, uh, so the the the, the biggest. Uh, difficulty for me was um, stepping over my own discomfort, and um, yeah, from that point on, um, there are different uh, um, different groups of like-minded people who also advertise themselves, like the incubator advertises themselves, uh, the uh, Moidingemakers, which is the group. Uh, they advertise themselves, so mm -hmm. they're pretty easy to find. And uh, you know, when you approach them, um, yeah, people—it's all people. So people will will be um, will be uh, enthusiastic to talk to you if you're enthusiastic about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, yeah. So that that wasn't difficult at all, but it is very. Um, very exciting. Like th this uh, this Thursday, uh, they'll release uh, a blog post about Fortuity to their users. So um, yeah, that's that's very exciting, and um, yeah, it kind of feels like I'm uh, um, I've been I've been um, building a roller coaster uh, this whole time, and this is the point where we uh, we go down the, the hill. <laughs> yeah. So, but it's also important to note that it's always going to go up again. Oh no! I, I, yeah. <laughs> it's not like downhill into the ground, but so it, this uh, scariest uh, point. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like things, things are things are starting now. Mm -hmm. You know, I've I've, I've uh, spent all the time building this, and now uh, people are going to use the app, and um, yeah, I'm gonna see if uh, if if they like it, and if they don't, then um, uh, I'll adjust it. Mm -hmm. And uh, would you say that this is your biggest project thus far? Yes. Yeah. This yeah. is this has been a, a, a huge project. So this first started out as being a, like a website, and um, after realizing that a website might not be the best medium, I trained myself to develop apps, mm -hmm. and um, then I created an app for this. Uh, just so the, the the whole idea is that you can create invoices. Um, just very easily, um, the, you know, um, um, and having it on a website meant that you have to go to the website and then log in, and uh, you have to do a few steps before you're actually able to create the invoice. Um, and having it on your phone means that you will already have an application. You're already logged in, so you just need to open the application and you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. That's um, yeah. That's how that got started. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And did you realize it yourself that you know it's nicer to have it on an app, or did uh, someone else you know give you that feedback? Uh, this was something I, I realized myself. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I do use my own app for my own administration, so. So you know um, it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, if if things don't work, then uh, I add them to my list mm -hmm. and I and I fix it. And yeah, um, yeah I've had uh, feedback from people who tell me that uh, some features are not um, uh, working in the way that they want to, and you know, uh, some feedback I'd like to incorporate to a new version. 
and some feedback is just um, what's not for you. Mm-hmm. And um, um, yeah, I'm just very excited about the whole uh, yeah the whole process. I really believe in this, and um, yeah, I can't wait for the the future just to see where this uh, where this goes. Nice. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, only available for Dutch. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. So. Um, there's there's a business side and there's there's like a whole technical side, but um, uh, currently the app is uh, in Dutch and it is uh, only available on iOS. Um, I so one of the features uh, that I really want to implement is to have uh, is to also have an English version, just so that uh, you know people who don't speak Dutch uh, entrepreneurs who are here from uh, from other countries can also use the app. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so that's that's also on my feature list for the next version. Yeah. Nice. Do you have any other questions? Are there any questions from our viewers? No. Okay. Uh, is there any last message you would like to give to our viewers? Uh, wow. I'd say that. Um, Whatever you want to do, make um, make it specific and be passionate about it. Mm-hmm. And uh, for me, part of making things specific is realizing that I'm very passionate about specific things, and I want to work towards those. So for Facturia, the whole design philosophy of, of how the app um, looks and works sets it apart from other bookkeeping software. And that's something that I realized when making things specific. And yeah, and that um, enthusiasm that I have towards that, the, 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 the passionate uh, way of doing things, that really helps me. And that brings me joy. Nice. So. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah, Jess, for um, sharing us your time Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Well, thank you so much for listening, everyone. We'll see you next week with, uh, with? Zepta, Zepta. with yeah, with Zepta.